What's the deal with food on sticks? Particularly balls of food on sticks. Does it make the food feel more important? If you figure it out, let me know. Cake pops. A great idea in theory, right? They're cute, they're adorable little portion sizes, but you're not gonna eat just one. So I made a paleo version. These don't exactly taste like cake pops, but from across the room, they look like cake pops, and that's all that matters. They're kind of like if energy bars and cake pops had a healthier baby. Our first paleo swap is going to be coconut flour. And baked recipes, coconut flour can be kind of crumbly, so it's really good to use coconut flour on a raw recipe because it sticks together a little bit better and it's naturally a little bit sweeter than all the other paleo flours. Coconuts can be anything. There's coconut flour, coconut meal, coconut oil, coconut butter, coconut cream, coconut milk, coconut water, there's coconut everything. I'm obsessed and I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna get together the rest of the batter and while I do that, check out the rest of the ingredients. For our batter, I have almond flour, coconut flour, cashew butter, maple syrup, paleo vanilla extract, coconut oil, unsweetened almond milk, ground flax seeds, freeze-dried strawberries, and raw cacao. For the coating, I have melted coconut oil, raw cacao, honey, and melted almond butter. For toppings, we have freeze-dried strawberries and cacao nibs. I just mixed my batter together, nothing fancy there, and separated it into two separate bowls because we are going to add our different flavors. We're going to make our chocolate using cacao and our strawberry. I am like the cacao girl, and later in this episode, I'm gonna show you a way to use it that you probably haven't thought about yet. Don't be afraid to use your hands with this. Like I mentioned earlier, coconut flour can get to be a little bit crumbly. And then the other one are freeze-dried strawberries. So right now, I'm just gonna roll these into about a one-inch ball and pop these on a baking sheet. There's our balls. They're stickless, but don't worry, we'll get there. These have to set and harden in the freezer for about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go do that, and you can check out my pretty healthy tip of the day. So we have our friend Maya here from Tastemade who's gonna help us demo our DIY dry shampoo. You probably know that most dry shampoos, A, are white, yep. which is really hard for us brunettes because we leave the house looking gray, and B, who knows what's in it? Chemicals. I know. I have a solution here today that has just two very simple, pure ingredients, and we're gonna make our own dry shampoo. Are you ready for that? Yeah. We're just gonna do equal parts. This is arrowroot starch. Okay. The starch is what's gonna soak up the oil in your hair. Okay, cool. And then, my favorite ingredient of all time, raw cacao powder. So the goal here is that we're not gonna be able to see it, but everyone's gonna think you showered. I know, that's really the trick of the <laughs> that's day. Just, is that's all we want out of yeah. life. Getting by. I actually find that using raw cacao kind of gives me a little bit more volume, oh. which is nice. Why? You know, I don't know, maybe it's the antioxidants because antioxidants fix everything. I look like a crazy lion. Welcome to my pink barber oh, shop. Oh, yes. Look at We're this. just gonna cape you up. We have a sifter here. I'm just gonna put some in here. And tap, 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 tap. And then you know how to just like rub this in, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna do. Mm -hmm. If you guys have ever used dry shampoo, you know the old. Oh, Does it, it feel like it's working? Like it's working. I think it looks pretty good, but am I gonna smell like chocolate all day? What's wrong with that? Now we get to stick them. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, these are all sticked. Stucked. I'm gonna make the sauce melted coconut oil. For this sauce, I'm using honey because it's another great paleo sweetener and I love them all. More raw cacao. I use almond butter in this sauce because it makes it really thick and creamy and it adds a little bit of protein. Then you're gonna combine the sauce. Yes, I know, I use coconut again. Like I said, it could be everything. Oh no! I can relate to that. What we do is we dip this in our sauce, make sure it's completely coated, and plop, oh, see, it makes a mess. That's why we have the plate. We can do that with the strawberry ones and the chocolate ones. Keep them separate so you know which one's which. We are going to dip these, pop them in the fridge, let them set, bring them back out, dip them again, and top them. I know, it's a lot, but remember, we're saving so much time by not actually baking them since they're raw, so we still come out ahead. Told you all the steps, but to save time, my plants already have a swap for me. Don't worry, it'll be on the recipe card. Thank you, little buddies. Wait a minute. If I'm gonna smell like chocolate all day, I want in on this. Strawberry or the chocolate? Chocolate. I'll try the strawberry. Cheers. Cheers. Do they taste like cake pops? No, not really. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> but they're really good. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna take another one for the road. Yeah, try them both. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay guys, like I said, they don't really taste like cake pops, but they look like them and they're on a stick. 
They're paleo, they're raw, they're vegan, they're gluten-free, they have a lot of coconut, and they're pretty dang healthy. See you next time.